Welcome back everyone to B-Man Cars. Uh, doing something a little different today. Uh, this thing's been sitting in, in my backyard. It was my first car that I ever bought with my own money. Um, saved up. I always like one of these. I'm gonna, you know, reveal it, take the cover off. This cover's been on this thing for over 15 years. And I bought the car about 18 years ago. So you can imagine, and it did run. It does have a motor and everything. We'll go through it a little thoroughly. We'll, you know, go through the engine, the uh, tranny and interior. Uh, but first, let me take this cover off. See what's hiding underneath. Then you guys will like it. There you have it, 1979 Chevy El Camino, Whew. Black Pearl. This thing seen better days, I know that. Believe it or not, this thing was driving, running at one point, 15 years ago I remember. Show you the interior there. Whew. It actually has a clean interior. Once this cover, you know, comes off, you'll see. Not bad. Had the whole skull uh, theme going all over. Surprised the tires still hold air. I had to put some air in it to move it a little bit. It does have the cover, the bed cover. It came with it when I bought it. Sorry about the uh, the sunlight there. A little ding there, that thing was there when I bought it. There is a funny story that goes with this and the person I bought it off of. 79 El Camino. Now, first and foremost, I have to wash this thing. It had not seen the sun under those covers for 15 years, so I have to wash it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do and give it a wash.
night, everyone. Washed it up. Came out okay. I didn't do a thorough wash. I mean, I just did a quick cleanup. Paint's okay on it. It's not bad. Those wheels are still shiny. I'm surprised. I'm going to polish it up later on. If I decide to give it a paint job or just keep it as is. Let's see what's under this hood. Oh, there it is. The engine has not been started in 15 years, I believe. It is a 350, what they call rocket motor from a 1970 uh Toronado. So I do remember that and I do remember the day we put it in. I didn't put it in, I was too young and I didn't know anything about putting in motors but I had a couple of friends and their mechanic friends do it. And it does have a uh, 350 uh, turbo hydromatic um, transmission in it. So there it is. Looking nice after all these years and I will try to make this thing run for you guys get it back on the road I did enjoy driving this when I uh, had it running and then I just you know went off to school I didn't have time for it I just needed uh, you know more time now that I do have the time I will I'll promise you guys I will put this back on the road for you guys and for myself quite honestly I I enjoy these things just for you know driving these things so uh, in the meantime you know we did this next video hopefully I can bring you guys some more uh, updates on this thing I'll show I'll basically just try to start the motor and uh, do a couple of things before I start it I know I have the knowledge now what to do before you start a motor so we'll go step by step and uh, we'll take it from there uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, video it wasn't much I mean just me washing this whole thing but you know I enjoyed it I enjoy looking at it I mean it's just it's a nice vehicle different so um, we'll see you next video next time uh, thanks for watching always uh, thanks for watching so and I really would appreciate you guys commenting and letting me know what you guys want to see in this thing uh, I don't want to go too wild uh, I just want to do something nice something that makes this thing go back on the road if I have to change a motor or the transmission or you know keep it the same the carbureted motor uh, I'd like to do that uh, let me know uh, I would really appreciate that from you guys Thanks again.